بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون سعید حسین حیدر اگین بیک وتھ کارپوریٹ گورننس گڈ ٹو سی آل آف یو وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ٹرائنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا ڈفرنٹ ڈائمینشنز دا ڈفرنٹ موڈیلٹیز دا ڈفرنٹ پرسپیکٹوز اینڈ دا ڈفرنٹ فیکٹرز وچ ٹین ٹو افیکٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس سو ان دس پرٹیکولر کورس وی آر ناٹ اونلی لوکنگ ایٹ دا نٹی گریٹیز اینڈ ایٹ دا لیگیلٹیز اینڈ دا فریم ورکس بٹ وی آر آلسو لوکنگ بہائنڈ دا فریم ورکس what is the psychological context of good governance of corporate governance of morality of doing something which should not be done and then why do we do it are we compelled to do it is it that we presume that we have to do it and what are the different reasons so in the previous sessions we've been looking at the different factors of obedience conformity and the bystander effect now let's look at it a little bit more in detail and we will be referring to the milligram obedience experiment now when we look at this uh, milligram stanley milligram uh, obedience experiment then what we see is is that based upon uh, this globally acclaimed experiment we tend to understand the importance of obedience and why is it that morally astute scrupulous principled people would do something which they should not be doing Now, the important thing is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is that you have to look at the video. So the video is available. Now, when you look at the video, there are certain things that I would like to add for food for thought. And secondly, I would like to give you some questions, some takeaway questions, which you're going to take with you. And then you're going to look at the video again with those questions in mind. And then think about the answers because they are available. in the video and the most important thing that i would like all of you to do is that i would like you to interconnect what you see in the video the questions that i give to you and what is happening in the real world in your own community in your own institutions where you are working these things are happening and that would enable you to understand why is it that sometimes the best of people can do the worst of things and this is all psychological and that's why psychology is a very important aspect of the implementation of corporate governance because without it then we won't have the foundation upon which we can train we can moderate and we can assimilate people towards doing what is correct what is right what is principles and what is stipulated by corporate governance so moving a little bit ahead uh, ladies and gentlemen explain what you observed in the milgram experiment now that's very important what did you learn what did you observe the milgram experiment shows that there is a strong tendency among humans to follow the dictates of authority figures even if following the instructions of authority figure can be extremely harmful even lethal so this is what we see that we have this tendency to be obedient we have this tendency to do things the way we are told we have this tendency to follow rules and regulations without looking at implications and consequences and that is extremely important milgram's conclusion is not that people tend to be morally bankrupt rather his conclusion is that obedience can lead perfectly good people to do bad things so this ladies and gentlemen is the crux of this experiment when you see the experiment in detail and i would advise all of you to watch the video maybe two or three times then you would see how different respondents are responding or are not responding or doing or not doing and why is it that they are taking the voltage in excess of 400 volts and the victim is is screaming and maybe it could be due to psychological distancing but again that is what happens in the real world we are not in contact we are not front line managers all the time we are sitting far away and because we don't know of the consequences sometimes we would be doing something which is extremely detrimental to the people to the stakeholders and to the organization as a whole but rightly said that 
people are not morally bankrupt, but they are compelled, an environment is created in such a way that they are doing things which could be lethal. And another question which comes to our mind in this experiment is, is that what would you do if you were the teacher, if you were the person over there regulating everything, the supervisor who's sitting behind the respondent, the person who is pressing the voltages. So what would your response be? What can we do to make sure that the pull to follow the orders of authority figures does not undermine our ability to act in accordance with our better judgment? So again, I would like to, uh, I would like all of you to immerse yourself into this situation that, okay, if we were in such a situation, practically speaking, how would we extricate ourselves? How would we save ourselves from doing something which we actually know is wrong? You, you think of circumstances in your own lives in which insights drawn from the Milgram experiment play themselves out. So, look at it from your own life's perspective and very importantly, you should, have you ever passed responsibility for your actions to a group or authority figure? Illustrate with examples. So, try to, try to talk about different examples. Write them down. Try to understand the concept. It would enable you to understand that why despite corporate governance frameworks, despite Securities and Exchange Commission regulations, despite company laws and acts, and despite the fact that we have so many frameworks which would reprimand uh, negative or lethal behavior, but still in the modern world, in the most modern economies, we see these deviations taking place. And it's extremely important to understand them. Uh, some more questions. What do you think would happen uh, if the learners were in the same room as the teacher? What would happen if shocks were administered by hand rather than indirectly through a switchboard? So, would you be able to administer a shock? Uh, would you allude to the mechanism of psychological distancing? What can you do to avoid the pull of authority when the authority figure is demanding something of you that you believe is wrong? So, this is a, this is a natural circumstance, a natural situation which occurs around the world that how are you going to say no to your boss when your boss is expecting you to perform? So, these are very big real life challenges which have been reflected meticulously and again multi-perspectively through the Milgram experiment. And that would enable you to understand the phenomena of diffusion of responsibility relating to Atch's conformity experiment and the good Samaritan experiment. And again, consider in particular cases in which conformity is being punctured. So these are the different questions that I would like you to uh, basically run through your minds while you are watching the Milgram video at least two or three times. What does the Milgram experiment say about our capacity to take responsibility of our own lives? An extremely important question that you should be able to understand that can we take responsibility or are we always going to be throwing it off onto someone else? Remember that not everyone reacts the same to pressure of external circumstances. Consider those who reached a point at which they refused to follow the instructions of the authoritative figure. Do you think this experiment is ethically dubious? So, Again, many questions coming your way and the best way is to watch the video two, three or four times and look up these questions and then think about them. Think about your own answers in all of this. So what happens is, is that a very important aspect is, is that despite the fact that we have been groomed, nurtured, developed, mentored, taught very well in our life, we understand what is right and wrong. We know that we should not, we should not damage someone. We should not be lethal to someone. We should not be debilitating to someone. We should not be insulting to someone. But situations arise in which we are, to an implied context, made to do things which we know are wrong, but yet we do it. And this is the question of the Stanley Milgram experiment and the answers have to be found out by you. Thank you so much. Assalamu